It's bringing your first word of it on MyArklamist.com. And at 5, we have learned more about a deadly shooting involving a Bastrop police officer. The night team's Chelsea Jones back from Bastrop. Chelsea, we understand from state police that the officer in question was not armed. Exactly, Gordon. And let me just tell you, I saw shell casings myself at the scene, and witnesses tell me the victim was shot nine times, and they don't understand why. State police are still working to piece everything together. Shell casings lined the street after a deadly officer involved shooting in Bastrop. I don't even feel safe over here. I do not even want to be over here no more. Safety is still a major concern as Louisiana State Police canvassed this almost four acres of land near the now closed H.V. Adams Elementary on Camel Street. I hear the gunshots, and then the next thing that I know, I see everybody running back toward the back of the school and the car just took off. Investigators say the shooting happened around 3.15 p.m. Tuesday. Witnesses calling it chaotic. It was nine shots all together, and there was one lady that was down on the ground talking about, oh, no, they shot my brother. Police say one man is dead. As for the bastard police officer involved, unharmed. Willie Garth says he and the victim's father go back decades. He says the shooting just doesn't add up. Witnesses saying the man killed was unarmed. I don't see why... Uh, officers should shoot somebody running, you know. If he ain't shooting at him, I feel like he shouldn't be shooting at, at the person. Several agencies working to piece together clues. At this time, state police say it's too early to give a definite answer as to what happened. They say it's up to the courts to decide if this shooting is justifiable. I mean, that's not for me to determine uh, or the public to determine. That's for us to do our case file and send it to the district attorney's office let them decide. Chief has not said whether he's placed that officer on leave, but he will review this investigation in the morning. In the Meteor Control Center, Chelsea Jones, NBC 10, your local news leader.